The question on everyone's mind the last decade or so is, where the heck is Grand Theft Auto 6? That question can be answered easily by looking at the giant success that is Grand Theft Auto 5 and Grand Theft Auto Online. To this day, GTA 5 is consistently in the top sellers list every single month. It is one of the best selling games of all time, selling over 140 million copies as of early 2021, and actually GTA 5 is the most profitable entertainment product of all time. Rockstar Games and its parent company Take-Two Interactive have printed well over six billion dollars just from GTA 5 and its online mode. Nothing comes even remotely close to the success Rockstar has had and continues to have with GTA 5. Absolutely insane until we all remember that we've purchased GTA 5 multiple times over the years. Heck, it was revealed earlier this year that in 2020, GTA 5 sold 20 million copies, the most since its original release back in 2013. So somehow this game and its success story is not at all slowing down, and with the launch of the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X editions later this year, this GTA 5 printing lots of money story will continue. Ultimately, this success has changed Rockstar Games, for the better and worse. It allows them to take time on their new projects, as was showcased with a masterpiece that was Red Dead Redemption 2. Eight years of development, 60 hour main story, 700 voice actors, 500 motion capture actors, 300,000 animations, 500,000 lines of dialogue, over 1,000 game developers and all of Rockstar Studios. That is the story of Red Dead Redemption 2, not to mention all the handcrafted, innovative technology that Rockstar created for Red Dead Redemption 2. From an actual working ecosystem, to realistic NPC movement and reactions, to a groundbreaking volumetric cloud system, to horseball physics. The attention to detail is just insane. This is what we all love about Rockstar Games, what separates them from the rest of this industry. Now, one thing to think about with Red Dead Redemption 2 is the fact that GTA 5's remarkable success really allowed this to happen. That success continues today and allows Rockstar to take as long as they need on Grand Theft Auto 6 to ensure it is the best possible experience that they can produce. So as we sit here, discuss, and get excited for the next Grand Theft Auto game, Rockstar continues to work in secret on what will be the most highly anticipated game ever. Expectations already Already are enormous, and fortunately over the last few years and even here in 2021, we've got a bit of an idea of what to expect. There have been many rumors and leaks that have emerged, some much more credible than others. Interviews, technology patents, scouting reports, actor resumes, and even direct hints from Rockstar Games themselves have come about. All of which we will break down and discuss, but before we dive into that, today's video is brought to you by Keeps, a subscription service that focuses on making it easier and more affordable for men to treat their male pattern baldness online. Unless you're looking forward to having a hairline similar to Trevor Phillips, this is a product that I highly recommend. Keeps, used by hundreds of thousands of men and having more five-star scores than any competitor, is actually perfect for myself because I'm in my mid-twenties with a full head of hair, but I have a family of baldness, which means a service like Keeps is just all that important. It's said that two out of three guys will experience some form of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35, which means the best answer to a stat like that is being proactive with doing what you can to retain your precious hair. Keeps makes this process super simple and affordable as you have access to a licensed doctor who will then review your info and recommend the best treatment for yourself. If you have any concerns or questions, you can message them 24-7, not having to move an inch from your couch to do so. Keeps offers generic versions of the FDA-approved medications for hair loss, meaning less money out of your pocket. Ultimately, Keeps' goal is all about prevention. Once you start one of their treatments, it'll typically take four to six months to start seeing results, but acting sooner rather than later means saving your hair. If you're ready to tank action to prevent hair loss, go to keeps.com slash legacy or click the link in the description to receive 50% off your first order. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash L-E-G-A-C-Y. At Rockstar Games, the big focus up until late 2018 was Red Dead Redemption 2. Now the focus is on Grand Theft Auto 6. They of course have smaller teams working on GTA Online and Red Dead Online content, remasters and pre-production work on other games, but their focus for the last few years has been primarily GTA 6. It's very likely based on 
some public reports at the time that pre-production work started around 2016, if not earlier, and the game went into full production right after Red Dead 2 was released. What that means is that considering the massive scale and expectations, the impact the pandemic has had on game development, the lack of needing to rush, GTA 6 is not coming tomorrow, this year or next year, or maybe even the year after that. This point also isn't necessarily speculation, as well-known video game insider Jason Schreier has been very public and open about the fact that GTA 6 is not coming anytime soon. In a Kotaku article last year around this time, Schreier revealed that GTA 6 was still in early development, and one plan that management was laying out for GTA 6 was a moderately sized release which is expanded with regular updates over time. Schreier also noted how the company has been making drastic beneficial changes behind the scenes to address its issues with culture and crunch. Interestingly, the idea of a quote-unquote smaller release is not the first time we've heard this. Take-Two Interactive CEO Strauss Zelnick explained in June 2019 in an interview with GamesIndustry.biz his plan for future Rockstar releases. It's possible that the ability to deliver content on an ongoing basis for a long time after an initial release of a hit would mean that perhaps that initial release would not be as long in terms of number of hours of gameplay as previously had been demanded in a world where that was all you were getting. The concern with a remark like this is the way Zelnick is wording things. He very likely means the single player mode will be shorter and the online live service will get a bigger focus pre-release. This was a concern with Red Dead Redemption 2 before release. Thankfully, we had nothing to worry about. But again, Rockstar is changing. Quite frankly, the most concerning thing to happen with Rockstar Games since maybe ever was last year's shocking news that Dan Hauser was leaving Rockstar Games. While Sam Hauser is still around, it really is important to underline Dan Hauser's contribution to games like Bully, GTA, Red Dead, and Max Payne. Dan was the big creative force behind most or all of Rockstar's releases the past 20 or so years. He was the lead writer on games like GTA 5, Red Dead 1, Max Payne 3, Red Dead Redemption 2. He is now no longer part of the equation, and because of Rockstar's secrecy, we have no idea if he had all contributed or completed work on Grand Theft Auto 6. To make matters even more concerning, around the same time Dan Hauser called it a career at Rockstar, Laszlo Jones did as well. Laszlo is best known for his appearances in Rockstar games, but behind the scenes, he was a huge contributor, as he was also a writer, director, and producer. Now he too has departed, which does raise some red flags on future Rockstar experiences, especially in regards to the single-player narrative side of things. Anyway, this concern of Rockstar executives departing is not a new one, as Leslie Benzies, the lead developer on the Grand Theft Auto franchise from GTA 3 to GTA 5, left the company in 2015. Since he has left, I would say Rockstar has done pretty darn well. So while there are more recent concerns with Dan Hauser and Laszlo Jones departing, maybe and hopefully Rockstar has developed strong leadership and creative minds to continue their company's excellence into the future. At least that is the hope. It is worth noting that the only Rockstar executive to actually address the existence of Grand Theft Auto 6 was Dan Hauser. In an interview right before the launch of Red Dead Redemption 2 back in 2018, Hauser told GQ that he was quote unquote thankful he was not releasing Grand Theft Auto 6 in the age of Trump. Hauser would further add, it's really unclear what we would even do with it, let alone how upset people would get with whatever we did. Both intense liberal progression and intense conservatism are both very militant and very angry. It is scary, but it's also strange, and yet both of them seem occasionally to veer towards the absurd. It's hard to satirize for those reasons. Some of the stuff you see is straightforwardly beyond satire. It would be out of date within two minutes. Everything is changing so fast. At the time in 2018, I think many of us were a bit confused by this remark, not because of how extreme both political sides have gotten, but because many had assumed GTA 6 was far into development and just had to be releasing in the next few years. Even before this interview, there was indication from Rockstar themselves that that was not the case. In March 2018, Rockstar North Coast studio head Rob Nelson revealed the company was going about game development differently with all of the branches of Rockstar Games working together and dedicating their time slash attention to Red Dead Redemption 2. Of course, there were smaller teams working on other projects, like some of them figuring out what the next GTA 6 would be like, or attempting to bring to life a bully sequel, but that was not the main priority. So with Rockstar's new design philosophy of all the studios concentrating on one project and Dan Hauser's uncertainty back in 2018 about what GTA 6 would even be like, it definitely seems to be the case that GTA
GTA 6 really did not start full development until around 2019, which gives credibility to the rumors of a release date in 2023 or 2024. Interestingly, Bloomberg's Jason Schreier, when revealing last year that GTA 6 was still in early development, gave his thoughts on when it would be likely for us to see GTA 6 released. Uh, yeah. um, I will say that I know a lot of people out there, especially a lot of like rabid GTA fans, probably skewing younger, have been uh, upset because I said that GTA 6 was kind of early and was in early development and will be out for another few years. Um, I think if, if GTA 5 coming out next year to PS5 is yeah. an evidence of that, then like I don't know what, what else is, you'll yeah. believe because GTA 6 is, is a ways away. Like I would not expect that game for, I mean, maybe like at the end of 22, 2022, I, 2023 I think is more realistic for a game like that. Now, why I call these comments interesting is because a lot has changed since then, such as the global pandemic, which ravaged and continues to ravage game development timelines. Schreier was recently asked on Twitter whether or not GTA 6 had been impacted by the pandemic and if fans should expect a later release than 2023. Schreier's now deleted response was expect everything to be way later than you think because of COVID. While Schreier has a proven track record of reliability when it comes to gaming scoops, the issue when it comes to most of the other leaks and rumors surrounding GTA 6 is the fact that 98% of them are pure nonsense. For example, the constant articles and videos of old GTA actors saying they would love to be a part of GTA 6 and believe Rockstar will deliver again literally means jack shit, and they've said that themselves. One actor even came out and trashed a Grand Theft Auto YouTuber who took his comments out of context. The truth is, these are workers who would love the opportunity to return to work for an employer that quite literally skyrocketed their careers. So no, they don't know anything about the next GTA game, and if they did, Rockstar would not allow them to breathe the words Grand Theft Auto 6 until the game was released. The same can be said about the tons of YouTubers who claim they have a copy, or the random Reddit threads of people claiming they have an uncle who works at Rockstar and just so happened to pass an outline of the game to them, or even the low-resolution images of the supposed world map. It seems like a new, easy debunkable leak emerges every week and spreads like a wildfire with various websites and youtubers treating the false information as fact because it's profitable to mislead especially when anything gta 6 generates tons of clicks with that said not all of the leaks and rumors surrounding grand theft auto 6 are nothing burgers there are some that have come about in the last few years that have quite a bit of credibility for starters and i'm not even sure i designate the following as a leak or rumor because it is coming straight from rockstar games but it's a very interesting patent that was discovered earlier this year. The patent outlines potential technology that we may very well see used in GTA 6. As reported by IGN at the time, the patent application entitled System and Method for Virtual Navigation in a Gaming Environment was developed by Rockstar's lead AI programmer, Simon Parr and David Hind, Rockstar's Associate Director of Technology. The patent details a new system that creates a realistic virtual world that is not limited by hardware and software limitations. This is specifically in relation to traffic behavior. The patent details boats, cars, and drivers throughout. The system outlined would result in a more realistic and immersive simulation of traffic. Furthermore, it's detailed how this new system means each NPC can define its own specific characteristics for traversing the road nodes. These characteristics include understanding acceleration, braking time, and distances, top speeds, and cornering speeds. NPCs and AI systems would be able to use these characteristics to generate more lifelike drivers on the roads of a video game world. This patent also puts an emphasis on this being used in online, which might mean that this will be utilized eventually in GTA Online, Grand Theft Auto 6's multiplayer mode, or maybe this is an indication that GTA 6's single player mode will always be online, a possibility. Regardless of how this patent may be utilized, the description of what it actually is could open the door for further innovation with Rockstar's NPC AI. The patent describes that that current conventional systems rely on behavior that has no high-level knowledge of traffic, which can lead to vehicles being unable to plan accordingly for blocked roads. The new system is designed to prevent situations like this. So to summarize, smarter NPCs that have the ability to navigate more realistically on the road. Now another leak which is more of a hint from Rockstar Games or a hidden easter egg was coordinates found in the GTA Online Cayo Perico teaser trailer which leads to a random place in Virginia, but if you look closely Mostly, the road spells out a V and then an I. Just a little fun nod to the inevitable GTA 
GTA 6 from Rockstar. Another leak that again involves Rockstar is a Florida location manager accidentally revealing that she was assisting the developer with scouting for an upcoming game in the southern part of the state. A supposed letter from the location manager leaked online in 2019, and what gives the leak further credibility is the fact that this location manager even spoke about working with a huge client in a recorded interview that was released in early 2019. So I've also been very fortunate to, to get a large client that has hired me to arrange basically site tours and visits. It's a digital media company and I've signed an NDA so I can't disclose who it is, but they've been exploring various areas of our state and of other states in the southeast. And I've been planning and arranging those visits for their personnel and that's been kind of a very interesting expansion of what I normally do. So if this is indeed true and judging by the fact that there's never been a statement or anything dismissing this leak, Rockstar Games Scouting Florida gives further backing to the rumors of this next GTA game being set in Vice City as at least one of its locations, which is not at all surprising. One really odd discovery that came from Rockstar's most recent game, Red Dead Redemption 2, was some of the things hidden within the game's code. That included file names, of weapons not from the Wild West era. The AK-47 assault rifle, Browning pistol, and L1A1 rifle were all found in the game's code, and while the simple assumption would be that these are weapons just for GTA 5, the issue with that is the fact that these weapons do not match the GTA 5 versions. The belief that some have is that this was either Rockstar testing the weapons maybe for GTA 6, or this was some abandoned cheat code or easter egg. While we currently don't know of any old GTA actors Actors reprising their roles in GTA 6, we do know of a few new actors that may have accidentally leaked their roles via their resumes. Last year, Reddit users discovered Jorge Canseho's resume, which mentioned a 2018 CGI role in Grand Theft Auto 6, in which he portrays a character simply known as the Mexican. His resume has since been updated, removing mention to his alleged GTA 6 role. In mid-2017, GTA fans discovered Tim Neff's resume which listed him working as motion capture on both Red Dead Redemption 2 and Grand Theft Auto 6. What makes this leak a bit more interesting is the fact that Tim Neff had posted a few images from within Rockstar Games on his Instagram account. Neff would write on social media and in an interview with PC Games N that he was being trolled badly and denied writing the resume. He claimed at the time that he had not worked on Red Dead Redemption 2 or GTA 6, but I worked on GTA 5 a long time ago and have not done anything since. The major, major, major issue with this claim is the fact that Neff is not mentioned in the GTA 5 credits, but is in fact in the Red Dead Redemption 2 credits. Which points to this leak being authentic, and him accidentally slipping up and going into damage control. Which makes sense, considering how secretive Rockstar likes to be, and how aggressive they enforce their NDAs. Besides actors slipping up, it does appear one former Rockstar developer may have accidentally revealed that they were working on GTA 6. In 2019, GTA forum user Apollo Thunder discovered the resume of a junior vehicle artist who worked at Rockstar Games from December 2017 to April 2018. And within the description of this job, the artist wrote that they were responsible for creating concept vehicles matching with the real world for GTA 5 DLC, the online updates, and upcoming GTA 6. In the days following this discovery, the resume was updated, removing the mention of GTA 6. Now, now, without a doubt, the biggest and most credible leak surrounding GTA 6 came all the way back in 2018 from YouTube channel The No, which has since been rebranded as Inside Gaming. The YouTube channel revealed, citing sources, that the next Grand Theft Auto title was codenamed Project Americas and was set to take place in Vice City in South America, with players being able to fly to the two locations to take on different missions. It wasn't specified whether the game was set during the modern day or back in the 80s or 90s when the drug trade was really popping. At the time in early 2018, the project was still in early development, with the inside source claiming that the game could be released in the next three to four years. That would have been a release window of 2021 or 2022. Based on new credible reporting, it seems the release window has been pushed back to around 2023 or 2024. Last but not least, The No claimed that Rockstar was looking into having a female protagonist for GTA 6. 
with it unknown if they were just floating around the idea at the time, and or if there were plans of once again having multiple protagonists, as was the case with GTA 5. As I've revealed multiple times over the past few years, I received information back around that time which gave further credibility to that leak being accurate and Rockstar being absolutely livid with the information getting out. Regardless, the one detail within the nose leak, which has received quite a few different opinions, is the fact that the next GTA game might have a lead female protagonist. Some found the idea as not believable or something Rockstar would never do, but earlier in 2021, well-known Call of Duty and Battlefield insider Tom Henderson, who has a reputation for his accurate gaming scoops, took to Twitter to reveal that GTA 6 would in fact feature a female protagonist, but also a male protagonist. Henderson later in the year revealed that some in-game missions would not reward players with cash, but instead an in-universe cryptocurrency. The reason being that some higher-up characters need to transfer high amounts of untraceable cash and fast. This leak, if true, would point to the next GTA installment taking place in modern day. Well, at least some or most of the game would. As it stands, Grand Theft Auto 6 is still a number of years away. Some leakers even indicating the wait may be much longer than fans expect. There are multiple factors that impact this long wait. This includes Rockstar's quest for perfection and innovation, the money train that continues to be GTA Online, as well as the global pandemic. There's a strong possibility that we may see some sort of teaser trailer later this year, or maybe next year from Rockstar. But ultimately, based on what insiders have claimed, it seems the game is nowhere near completion, and also it's important to remember Rockstar's reputation for delays, something that seems to strike almost all of their new games. But as each day passes, more random 4chan posts and alleged map designs will emerge. Tons of websites and content creators will run with this nonsense no matter what. All of this just makes it 100 times harder finding the real leaks and in information, and gives many gamers a false sense of what this game may be about. This video hopefully provided a more accurate picture of what to expect, because we do know some information on GTA 6. Not a crazy amount, but we have an idea based on rumors and leaks, as well as Rockstar's actions and remarks over the years. It's certainly taking quite a bit of time, but considering the expectations and pressure this developer is under, I think we can all agree that we hope they take their time and deliver yet another masterpiece that takes this AAA games industry by storm. Anyway, what are your expectations for GTA 6 and what do you make of the recent rumors and leaks? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below, but thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy this video or if you found any informative value and make sure to follow my other social media accounts for updates on new videos. Links are always down in the description below. I'm most active on Twitter giving opinions on news that I do not always get into video form, so do make sure to follow me over there. Also check out my Discord for all sorts of discussions on games. And again, thank you for joining. Consider subscribing for more videos like this, and I'll see you later.